Hey everyone, welcome back to Rebo Sub Channel and part five. Uh, hopefully, get a lot more done this week, and we'll see where we end up. Hopefully, before the contractors do start coming in, which we're hoping to a date quite soon. Right, so it's now Friday. Um, we're trying to think what else we've done this week. There've been quite a few things going on. The last video went out on Monday, so obviously Laura did the bit when we were doing the cladding around the side, and she's been varnishing. She's still varnishing down there somewhere. Uh, you know, yeah, <laughs> just about. So yeah, really, we've had a lot of different contractors coming in trying to work things out again with this flooring. I've just spent the last probably about an hour or so of today just trying to pull out any more screws, staples and things out the floor ready for which we think we're going to end up screeding before carpet tiling maybe but, but yeah so that's been looking at different things like today and a few other plans um, with Robbie coming out trying to work out what we're going to do um, Laura's been varnishing a lot the last couple of days well I say the last couple of days over the last two days we had to get some more varnishing this morning so she's done all the bar and the bar ends down that way and all the way around and around the top kitchen arrived but uh I don't think the kitchen's been in the video yet, is it? That was last, was it the beginning of the week? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, so that's the new kitchen going upstairs. Just waiting for fitters to come out, probably in, I think it's next week, end of next week. So this needs to all then go upstairs, and then the bathrooms will start for us, which is good. Uh, all the var more varnishing done. Cladding, it's now secure. Obviously, we're not going to leave the tops open on that, there's going to be a shelving going around the top. The man to the window. Laura's finishing off that. That's got the last piece to be. Oh, that's the last bit, isn't it, Laura? Yeah. Yeah, that's the last bit to be varnished. Obviously, we just mocked up round and cutting all the parts around the radiators, and still got all this to do. Um, not going to secure it to the bar just yet because we need to do the floor underneath it. But it just it's all cut in place while we had a a mad day uh, when Paul was here and Harrison we were just cutting and rounding off all the edges so they're not they're not sharp from where they've all been cut. So that's all done. Uh, what else happened today? Oh, that's the new door. That's the other bit that's been done. Thatchers were in and we moved some more of the stuff from there. That T-bar's got to come out. Uh, drafts are going over the other side, so we need to work that out as well in a bit. Not much has happened behind here, other than finishing off the bar, really. Uh, I think that's it for so far. Uh, Probably another hour or so on the floor trying to get bits out. Uh, I'm going to try and attack that end at some point. And that is it for today. Probably hopefully getting some more cladding today. And what we are now, Friday now, so we've got another couple of days and we'll try and put this this video out, even if it's a short one now, just quick, try and do the updates every week. But yeah, things are taking place. The cladding, like it did at the old unit, does transform quite a bit. And we are going to... Sand and varnish the floor, which will look quite nice with the wood and the cladding anyway then. But yeah, update for Friday. One thing we did forget to mention in the last video is the other thing we did was remove all the... You can still, still see the remains of where all the writing stuff was on the walls. It was down there as well, on that side. You can still vaguely see bits. There's still that to come off. Uh, that's getting covered over there. And then down the other end, we just... Casey Harrison and I think we did a bit, we just literally removed them all so they're ready for the next phase as well, which is good. Hey Reggie Ree, what are you doing? Painting. Painting? Is it exciting? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So today we've got Casey has come in to help us. If I can find her, where is she? Ta da! There she is, doing her masking. 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 Masking everything up, starting on painting it all. Go down and see where the old man is, down this end. What are you doing, Rich? Playing Paul. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm painting. What are you painting? Uh, the door. So, a quick update after, I think. One Laura's video and just it just cut short. So yeah, it's now uh, half seven, quarter to eight, I'm guessing, probably about quarter to eight. 
Um, Laura's gone back over, obviously dark outside. Laura's gone back over to Hamworthy to pick up washing because we've still got no facilities on this side. So she's gone over to her mum's. Reggie is snoring in bed. So yeah, it's just a case of, Casey's gone, Laura, Laura don't finish with dad dinner. It's just a case of trying to finish off with some painting there, um, which has come on quite well, actually. I don't know if it's finished. Yeah, all the radiator cladding's finished, which is quite good. Windowsill we won't do yet because that's got to change, but it's just a case of trying to get a final coat on this side so it's all squared away and done. That'd be quite nice. It looks almost finished, but I mean, I know people do say about Magnolia. It's, I suppose it's quite boring, but it is. It works quite well with the wood. Um, it's quite a warmish colour. It makes it not so cold in here, I guess. Um, but like we said before, most of these walls will be covered um, due to all the signage we have from America and stuff anyway. So you won't see a lot of the walls either way. But yeah, it's come along quite well, actually. It's one of them jobs once, once we started today and the paint's out, I want to kind of get it done while we've got the chance. Uh, other meetings we had quite a few different things going on today so the girls ended up doing most of the starting and cutting in while I was doing meetings uh, we had window surveyors out for the final uh, sort of checks on windows because they're now going into manufacturing so we'll have the windows hopefully before we open um, that's the plan still hoping to open at the beginning of December and it'd be good to have the windows done at the same time then before we open save messing anything about it and making a mess uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Asbestos guy came in and did some tests at the back before the kitchen starts in hopefully a week or two. So he wants to double check and have to just obviously check him above the roofing before they take it all out in the back. And we're supposed to have someone come out and look at the floor and we didn't turn up today because he was at a different job. Or well, he had to go and sort some other jobs, so hopefully we get it done in a couple of days. And that's about it for tonight, I think. That's us done. Uh, and start tomorrow on the bar, I reckon. So yeah, and more painting, obviously. All right, see you in the morning. How much on the top lower? Oh, wait, oh, is that gone? There? Is that there? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I can see. So that's the bottom of the shower. What are you doing today, Rich? Hey? What are you doing? <laughs> Building you a bar, woman. Building me a bar? Yeah. What else have you been doing today? Not a lot. No, we had some lunch. No change there, then. Thank you for saving that. Balled up? Yeah. yeah. Not going on the plate next. Yeah. Cut Come. some wood. Fill the hole. Cut some wood and fill the hole. Chew the cup. Is this, this is a morning update. This is a morning update, yeah. <laughs> well, that's there. Right. So I've been doing a bit more cutting in today. That's quite, that's a bit I'll get, I'll get ready to do some rolling in later. <laughs> Took the curtains down yesterday and the curtain poles, so it looks so much bigger in here now. It's so airy and nice. Right. Better carry on. Right, final update quickly before we put this video out, hopefully tonight or tomorrow, because um, there's a lot happening tomorrow, so we'll, we'll be a fresh video then, won't it? So what have we done up to the last bit? Obviously we was building the case cupboards there. Um, these shelving, both these shelving units were from our old unit, which we built from the bar, which Matt helped us with, um, and we've decided to shrink them down and reuse them, which is pretty good. Uh, we just needed cutting out of size because this roof was a lot shorter than the last the last bar we built, so we put them in, cut and sanded all the scaffold boards to back the board out. Uh, we're going to back that out, aren't we, and put Larry, the Texas long wall in the middle. Yep. Uh, wood cladded, the scaffold boards will be cut for the ends on either side of this. Um, you just can't see it because that's stuck there. There's a double socket behind there, and that double socket's got to be removed. Uh, get, get a lecky in to do that first, and then we can build the rest of the bar that's done. This was a manky, browny, greeny kind of grime on it. Um, but I don't, uh, we dragged it outside yesterday and sanded it, and it's come up as a, a pretty much new piece of wood. Um, it's pretty good, that is. Um, Clad to the front with a new scaffolds that come the front, triple fridge go in there, shelving's come out of that, and we've redone the flooring in it because it was just nothing there, so we made that a solid floor. At the same time, I had a nose at this bar flooring and uh, it looks like old ply that's just gone manky and damaged over years, but the, they are redoing all this floor, so that's not a problem. Um, so that's kind of ready to go, really, until we've got the sockets out and I can finish the back bar out, really, because um, it just looked quite dull and boring, didn't it? So we wanted to use a lot of the wood which we did and we upcycled from our old unit, which is pretty good, um, thanks to Matt originally building them. 
and we're just going to fit, carry on with the style of our small bar and we just make it bigger. What else has happened? Um, we've got to have the electrics, you've got electrics done. Uh, we haven't even touched that end, have we yet? I think coming around this side, we've painted all the walls that end, we've nailed on that as well, the number plate wall. Um, yeah, so that was something we did in our other units we've had, um, so it was always going to be a feature here anyway. Um, just a mixture of original American number plates plus some vanity plates plus some original fire uh, firefighter plates from Tennessee that never went on appliances from 2001. We managed to get a few of them. Um, thanks to John in Texas, most of these ones have been collected for a while. Um, we've still got another crop two crates somewhere which John sends over from Texas with a load of other Americana stuff which we sell anyway. Um, so at some point we'll get them out for sale. But yeah, that's that wall done. We've got a few other ideas elsewhere. Speakers? Uh, oh shit, yeah. So speakers, the surround sound, they were all cut down and just left in a, in a suitcase when we originally walked in. So Harrison's been working on that the last couple of days. So they've got surround sound in here, two in there, one in the restaurant there, one in the, two in the restaurant there and one in the back. So they're all, not all on a system now, which is pretty cool. So it means you've actually got sound in here, which is good. Uh, what else was that? Speaker wires, there's two of them there. At this end, we took out that false wall, didn't we? So, <clears throat> we've got to clad that still. I've got to put a second coat of paint on all this, and we can remove that wall partitioning thing, didn't we? Mm -hmm. The old wall, it's like the old wooden thing. But we are going to partition, we're going to build a false wall in there anyway. I'm not mm -hmm. sure what I'm going to customise with you. I've got a few ideas for the wall yet. Not too sure. Other than that, are we done? That's it, so mm -hmm. far in it. Uh, yeah, this video will go out quite soon now then, because tomorrow morning, uh, it's now Sunday, tomorrow morning, seven o'clock, we've got contractors in doing the kitchen, the commercial kitchen. Uh, I'm not sure how long that's going to take, but that's a, they've got a massive job in there. And for anyone that's seen the videos, know what state it was in beforehand. Um, <clears throat> so we'll do it before and after with that, but we're having a whole new walls, floors, kitchen, everything. Um, got Wayne in, can't remember the other guy's name, might have been Ben. Um, Wayne we know anyway, they're fitting your kitchen upstairs. So mm -hmm. that'll be done, which is all down there. That's got to go upstairs and get done. Then I'll start the bathrooms for us upstairs, which is on our living side. We, we'll be finally finished upstairs, which will be good. Um, yeah, we've got a site meeting on Tuesday, haven't we? So a lot's about to happen this week, um, this week coming forward, and there's gonna be lots of updates. And absolutely tons of work going. We're still going for the beginning of December, aren't we, to open? So it'll be kind of holding on the kitchen work, but hopefully Tuesday with the site meeting with the brewery and everybody will uh, have more of an idea of schedule for timings. And the gas meter should be in in a couple of weeks, max hopefully. So we'll have gas finally. But yeah, I think that is it. We haven't missed anything out as an update wise. No, we've been quite flat out this week. Um, it's gonna get mental next week, especially as the kids are off school and the last line we'll probably ever get for five years. Um, the kids are off and all the contractors are coming at seven in the morning, which law is going to have to get up and open the door? Uh, no, oh, you okay. said you were going to do that. Right, well, nice put, try. Click a coin for it? Mm -mm, no, oh. it's you. Okay. <laughs> um, we'll just leave the key under the mat. <laughs> we haven't got a mat and we're not going to leave the key outside. Um, okay, cool. Uh, I think that's it for this video, isn't it? Mm -hmm. We've done quite a bit, hopefully. Um, thanks for everyone that's been watching and sharing and liking. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do. Um, obviously, if, you, if you've only just seen this video as the first one, you can see the other four. I think this is part five, isn't it? I think so, yeah. Part five, maybe. So, obviously, we've got all the videos from when we first got the keys. Thanks for following, and we'll see you in the next update soon. Cheers.